Let, let me show you uh, how to use uh, PL debugger uh, with the Postgres. I'm using uh, big SQL uh, binaries. Uh, yeah, unpacked everything into a directory in C colon. So this is the big SQL sandbox installation step. We just need to run this step. Okay, so let me go to big SQL directory, pgc uh, list. This will list all <coughs> all packages available for installation. So let me install Postgres uh, 96 pgc install pg96. This will download uh, Postgres 9.6 from Amazon bucket and it will unpack into a directory. So everything is a sandbox so yeah now it is unpacking it may take few minutes uh, based on the speed of the system Okay, the Postgres installation is completed. See, if I say PGC list now, I will get all the list of components which can be installed now. So, I have PL profiler and uh, PL debugger. I want to install PL debugger. And of course, I need PG admin 3 for debugging. So, yeah, I'll let me install one by one. First, let me install PL debugger pgc install pl debugger it's a small package so it's fast pgc install pg admin 3 this is comparatively bigger but yes I think I have a slow connection today. So um, now I'm going to have all the software required for setting up it's getting unpacked windows is automatically invoking some shells in between ok so then uh, installation is completed if I say PGC list, I have Postgres 9.6, PL debugger, and PG admin 3. And of course, on Windows, uh, the big SQL comes with the Python. Yeah. So let me initialize the database PGC init PG96. I am providing a super user password. It is getting in initialized.
PGC. Let's start uh, start up the posters. PGC star PG96. Here we are starting up the Postgres in the sandbox. Yeah, so the firewall is blocking something. Allow. Okay, and uh, see so if I invoke PSQL. Okay, the envi uh, the path and all not mentioned. So let me set the environment variable pg96 pg this will set all the environment variables so I get the, after that I can say psql and uh, I, I I got the psql prompt here um, we are all ready for uh, setting up uh, PL debugger so let, let us see what are the extensions available now. DX. There is nothing other than um, uh, PLSQL. Okay. So uh, uh, PL debugger requires uh, PG reload libraries. Uh, mean, I mean uh, preload libraries. So let us exit and go to the installation directory or the data directory there we can see the postgres configuration file open it there we can search for shared pre shared preload libraries okay this need to be set to a value plugin debugger okay Copy and where is my window? Too many windows. Okay. okay. Mm. Okay. Paste it here and save it. Closing that and going to command prompt and restarting the postgres restart pg96 connecting to psql and verifying uh, the shared preload libraries okay yeah that's it perfectly once we verify this, we can create the extension. Okay, extension uh, the debugger extension is created. Now we can create a sample function. Okay. This, uh, this function uh, finds out the maximum number bit among two. So, for example, select pg max two comma three. So it should output three. Yes. Say four comma three. It should output four. So let us debug this um, um, function. For which we need a P, a pg admin 3 so that can be invoked from here itself pgc start pg admin 3 pg admin 3 comes up and establish a connection so here i am using local host we can connect to even remote host for debugging Go to databases. Uh, I am using the Postgres database itself. And uh, where is schema? Yeah, the public schema. There we have all the functions. 
and this is the function we just now created okay right click on that go to debugging say debug uh, it is asking us the values uh, so say four five say debug so the function start executing with these values uh, we have stack pane in the, uh, in the right side and the values also displayed we can step through the code and finally the output will be displayed parameters pane will be the result pane will be the so we can see the output so this way we can uh, debug a start procedure by uh, stepping through the code and seeing the output that's all